we're going to go to try to catch some beavers here over the next couple weeks. Um, not try, we're going to. And uh, we're going to try to catch some of it on film, see what we can come up with. Uh, building a drowner right now. We got this, I don't know, steering stabilizer. Or somebody, I'm sure, will tell me what this thing is, but it's an old part off a truck that I was working on. Don't need it anymore. It's garbage. It's not garbage, but it was sitting out front, out behind my shop. So we're going to use it for a weight. So the theory here is throw this weight in the water. Super loud. And then these traps have a hole in them. And I'm sure somebody is going to tell me if I'm doing this right or not. I've never seen anybody use this for a, a drowner latch, but maybe I'm ignorant. Um, so what it's going to do is run down the line like that. Once you, uh, you're going to set this trap, beaver's going to get in it. It's going to dive for deep water because that's what they do. When they get scared, it's going to run down and then it's going to try to come up for breath. And this is going to hold it and keep it underwater. It's going to struggle. It's going to go the other way. It's going to panic. I know it sounds rough, but it's better than sitting in a trap for a couple days, tearing up your set and doing all, all kinds of, wreaking all kinds of havoc. So it's going to run down the line. It's going to run out of air. It's going to drown. It's not going to get torn up or eaten by any other animals. And it's going to preserve the pelt. All right. So the other day, I put a drowner out here, a foothold, um, because when we came by here, Shelby and I saw a beaver sitting right here on this bank. So we threw that car part, the steering component off my Jeep. We threw it in the water there as a drowner. So apparently the thing we were trying, um, this worked pretty good. So this ended up, zoom in on this, this latch ended up sliding down to this weight and uh, let it come back up for air. So, looks like oh, everything worked the way we wanted it to. Anyway, so it worked out pretty good. I'm going to pull this set. Ew. <laughs> All right, so we found a good spot where they're coming up and down. But added insurance we're gonna take this beaver we caught farther up river we're just gonna kind of milk the castor glands and get some of that scent oh yeah get some of that scent from this other beaver on there yep. it smells good doesn't it my hand really smells my nose stuffy <laughs> yeah and then we're gonna put this wad of dirt right over here and we're gonna set the trap down in this little bed that I cut out the beavers are gonna smell that come up on this little landing pad and hopefully we'll whack one there Pretty deep right here. This right out of here. All our traps have to be submerged this time of year. So. Make sure it's bedded in nice there.
Okay, hopefully he comes up to check this out. Bam. Abel's gonna check this beaver trap, see if we got anything on it. There's, uh, right below your foot, I cut a little pad right there and that's where the trap was sitting. So if the chain, yeah, the chain's gone. There it is, nice. Beaver number two on this grounder, the old Jeep parts. What do you think? Some words of wisdom? What do you say about a 45 pounder? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> about an 18 pounder.